Hello folks and welcome back to the Curse of Monkey Island. We're going to get our last sailor to join our crew. And I want to make a note here. Save. <laughs> yeah. Make sure you save your game. Because I didn't last time and I had to replay everything again. I had to re go and redo the gold puzzle I guess we're going to call it that. Oh, MacGyver's finds gold from Captain Blondebeard. So we're going to take this glove right here and we're gonna smack him around with it. Now there's a challenge to the field of honor. Choose your weapon. Nah, I choose the weapon. I want to choose the banjo. I choose the banjo. I accept. You do? This is one case where the space bar comes in handy. We got to get a piece of paper and you write one through five. Write the strings one through five. One, two, three, four, five. That was five. Depending how your number the last one. One. Five. Four. Gotta get on one here. Five again. Four. Two. One. Five, two, one, four, five. No, oh. five again. Two, one, four. You're pretty good, boy. Let's see you follow this. <laughs> okay. He's good. I'll never beat him. Go back to our gun pile here. I'm gonna pick up this gun. It doesn't matter. Here's Pestle with Banjo. What? You shot my Banjo. You can't be sure of that. That shot may have come from the grassy knoll. Of all the low-down tricks, I never heard of anything so low. I completely misjudged you. You are a pirate after all. I'd be proud to join your crew. Great. I'll just pack this stuff up and get ready. And give me back my gun. Uh, <laughs> well, I got my whole crew. Nice boots, huh? Sorry. Hey, what do you know? I really am Big Bone. Uh-oh, quiet. Here comes Captain LeChuck. <laughs> Set sail for my stronghold on Monkey Island. I'll unleash my entire army of the undead. This time, Elaine will be mine. Ah, Elaine. It'll be a sweet day in hell 
will you feel the fiery breath of my kiss on your lips and become my undead bride? And I'll destroy any man who dares get in my way! Suffering sinners, it is good to be dead! <laughs> Okay, we're here. kind of window usually locks from the inside. I'll have to find another way in. Fifteen men on a dead man's huh? Who are you? I'm Guybrush Threepwood and I'm a mighty pirate. Well, we'll just see how your threats sit with my captain. You captain? Yes, Threepwood. You come aboard the Sea Cucumber. I am Mr. Fossey, and the first mate. And my captain? Why, he's the scourge of the seven seas. The dread pirate, Lechip. Yes, captain. It's on the table, sir. Lechip. That's right. Captain Lechip. Yes, captain. Just an intruder, sir. But I'm dealing with him. He says you're to be tortured. Choose your punishment. You can either be tarred and feathered, or you can walk the plank. Couldn't you just let me off with a stern warning? No. So, well, I suppose we'll have to go with walking the plank. We're trying to avoid using the tar and feathers. It's messy, and we need to save the tar for emergency leak repair. What do you say, men? Can we make him walk the plank? What's that, Captain? Bandits! Well, it looks like we're having technical difficulties, Streetwood. So we'll have to drag out the tar and feathers after all. <laughs> That'll learn ya! Spoil Diablo! So what do I do now? Hmm. I don't know. We've never done this before. Aren't you humiliated? I guess so, but no more than usual. Well, you just get lost then. Yep, it's a poil Diablo. Go 
like the blonde beer chicken. Los prisioneros y ahora vengo por ti. Well, you're not taking me without a fight. Ugh, this chicken grease washed off all the feathers. Oh, whoops, I better keep quiet. Absolutely, Captain. I'll get right on it after I have my dinner. What's that, Captain? I eat too much fried chicken. Well, I... I've just got a weakness for chicken, that's all. I know you don't have any weaknesses, Captain LeChimp. You're an overachiever, a doer. Well, I'm just a tiny little fly. LeChimp? The captain is an ape? Well, if the captain is an ape, then Mr. Fossey must be... Aye, aye, Captain! Fresh bananas for the whole crew! An utter loon. What's that, Captain? Your parasites are bothering you. Well, of course I'll groom you, sir. You know, sir, finding this gold statue may be just the boost our crew needs. What, with the riches we get from this, we can get new and better ships and become the terror of the Caribbean! Where's our book at? Uh, uh, testing, testing, uh, check one, two, uh, uh, three. Uh-oh, I'm hearing the voices again. Uh, uh, Captain LeChimp, I'm, I I'm the real brains behind this crew. Oh, what made me say that? I'm terribly sorry, Captain. I'm not picking nits off you anymore, Captain. Don't! Where did that come from? Yeah, this whole ship, it stinks like a zoo. <laughs> Why do I keep saying these things? You, you think you could maybe shave your back? It's really disgusting. I don't know why I said that, sir. I don't even think that. Uh, 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 permission to, to speak freely, sir. You're a big dumb monkey. Maybe I need some time alone, sir. I don't mean you any disrespect. <laughs> That's fun, but it doesn't seem to be making any difference. Ahem. <clears throat> Mr. Fossey, I've been thinking. Are you all right, Captain? You sound different. Don't interrupt. <laughs> Sorry, sir. Maybe it's time we gave up pirating. I mean, take a look around at me, at the rest of the crew. We're all monkeys. You mean in the Darwinian sense, sir? No, I mean in the quite literal sense. Hey, have you noticed that the crew is happier swinging from the masts than swabbing the decks? I don't even want to mention what they've been flinging around the ship. Are you suggesting that I'm not disciplining the crew enough? No, no, I'm suggesting that we all give up this charade and go back to the trees. That's the life for a monkey, not sailing the seas for months on end. Well, if you feel so strongly about it, sir, I suppose I can't argue. I think our last order of business should be to dig up that statue and... It'll be tough on the men, sir, but I'll tell them that you think it best. Okay, but first we should dig up that statue and give it to... I'll make sure they understand that it's not their fault. Very good, and then we can dig up that statue and... Okay, never mind then. That must be the map to where they buried Elaine. Yeah, that's a marker spot. 
So I'm going to end the video here, folks. In the next video, we're going to oh, dig up Elaine and Gavris is going to join a quartet. So this is Gamer Lawn signing out, saying thanks for watching and take care, folks. Bye.